morning everybody, we're here in the port of Vigo in Spain, it's the first port of the first stop off the cruise. I'm going to do what I can to vlog whilst I'm away, but there's no promises because I am terrible at it. So it's very awkward walking around in public like this, but check this dude out, check this dude. He's right, there he is. <laughs> okay, it's been nice. Anyway, let's see what the port of Vigo has to offer. <laughs> Hells yeah, I want to go on the jet ski. I want to go on the jet ski. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's basically a statue that's face planting the ground. What the hell is that about? Got an amazing idea for a statue, right? I'm gonna get a face and a body, right? And I'm gonna flash it into the ground. Be absolutely amazing, boy And there's a face, there's a face to it. Look at this face. It's an unhappy face. Oh no. She fell over. I'm wearing flippy flappies. Hi, so I've been here once before. We did an excursion and like this part of the Vigo, the Port of Vigo, not so nice. Got some nice, not some not so nice. But if you like, take like a little half an hour drive over the yonder, there's some lovely areas, beautiful beaches, beautiful buildings and lovely things to see and do. But not for us today. We're doing this, including the amazing Hotel Badia de Vigo. Ta-da! Oh la la, check out the sass on that building. Whoa. But yeah, let's go have a walk around. I'm sure there's some lovely stuff to see here all the same. Let's keep on walking. Tell me your secrets. Tell me. I think this guy might need to go, go see a doctor. He's got freaking tentacles coming out his ass. Apparently this is the monumental I Exurior Venevin. That's exactly what I said. That's what that is. What you look at him and his tentacle butthole. <laughs> okay, leave him alone. Stop harassing them statues. I've never come this far down. Like the, the, the port bit of it. It's actually really nice here. It seems like the bits I saw last time, which were more kind of back there, not so nice. But this bit are very nice. It's a very nice bit here. I don't know where we're going now. I kind of want to go check out the Burger King nearby. Really am tempted to get a Burger King in every port we go to and compare them. Oh, I just see something. It's like the hotel's got a hidden Easter egg on top of it. Let me show you. That is totally a hidden Easter egg. Somebody takes it serious. <coughs> Best job ever. Unless you have hay fever. And then it's hell on earth. I have hay fever. It's horrible. Although well, here it's fine, but hay fever bad. It's almost as bad as extreme zooming out of focus face. Shaking all over the place like it's an earthquake going on. I really shouldn't vlog. I'm terrible at this. How long even is this? I feel like this is one minute long and it's just me being stupid. But I got flip flops on, so that's a bonus. When do you ever get to wear flip flops? Never. That's the real answer to that question. Send help. Send help please. Arms missing. Legs accounted for. I cannot see up my left eye. Oh no. Mine. Look at all them chickens. I found a game. It's been a while since I've been in one of these. I don't care what the internet says. I like porgs. I give porgs a thumbs up. But the first order snow trooper. No, 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 no. An American food house. It sells American things. I love Reese's Peaches, but they've got Lucky Charms as well, and Fruity Pebbles. I've never had these before, but I really want to try them. Hershey's Syrup. Sushi! You gotta ask yourself an important question. Are you Mr. Gustavo Lopez, pizza guy, or the pasta boy? Ba -ba -ba. That's a face that loves pasta. Okay, so we're more or less done with our little walk around. This shopping centre place, it's like every shopping centre you've ever been to. Has food, has some basic stores, shoe shops, computer game store, stuff like that. 
but for now, I don't know, we're gonna go back on the ship. I might go swimming, but I'll see you when we go on board, because I don't like vlogging around lots of people. It's weird. So, yeah, bye. Boarding the ship always reminds me of Father Brown boarding the Titanic. Just before he boarded, he took one last photo, just like this, looking down the side of the ship, and you can see the water, the quayside, and the ship. And the horn of a distant train. And I'm back on board the ship. Let's check it out. This is the cabin that we're staying in. It's very nice. Let me show you. This is where I stay. I got the sofa bed. Hey, don't be fooled. It's very comfortable. That folds out. It's amazing. Got your TVs. I got my laptop. Got my book. I'm going to be reading Sherlock Holmes and the Titanic Tragedy during this holiday. I got it a while ago, and I've only read like the first chapter. But uh, time sucks. I can never get time to read it. So now I'm gonna. But we got a balcony cabin. And that's where we just were, all the way down there. So we went through all that big building and through there and up that boarding ramp and voila, here we are. So that was Vigo. And as I said a couple times, I think the plan is now to go swimming. So the plan for tonight now is basically we're on board the ship. We're gonna go catch a Freddie Mercury tribute act, then get some food, and then go to sleep. We've got a sea day tomorrow, so maybe there'll be a vlog tomorrow exploring the ship. Who knows? I'll try and vlog some of the show, but copyright and all that jazz, it's not gonna work out well, is it? Everybody, so something happened, so not, not so good happened. So during the pre-show before the Freddie Mercury show, um, a accident happened. This is the bridge. Attention, medical response team. Medical response team proceeds to the Arena Theatre, deck six, zone two. There's a hospital on board, um, but like they only can deal with so much and whatever happened seems to be bad enough that we've turned around and we're heading back to Vigo. We've got a sea day tomorrow so it's not gonna put us like out of time for our next ports but it's still really sad because like Vigo is the very first port of our of our holiday but it's not fair and it's sad for this one individual uh, their holiday is now over. Coupled with like how scary it kind of is to be in a foreign country in a foreign hospital I just I, just, I hope he's okay and I I hope that he gets well soon. Freddie Mercury show was great, really good fun, good songs, good sing-alongs, yay. I'm very tired, um, so I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow, question mark. Goodbye.